hello guys um in this video i'm going to show you the few developer option settings that i actually use on my android device which might be useful for you also so these are the if you i like enabling developer option on my any of my android device so i'm going to show you the most of the important ones that you might find useful so if you are watching this video you already know how to enable developer option i don't need to teach you that i guess so first things first i like i'm um, using this feature called um, stay awake screen will we never time out when while charging you know when you turn off when, when your device turn off um it will actually hibernate some apps that are running in the background and this way you will not be online on facebook anymore and you will not be online on whatsapp and when your device activates um, deep sleep mode you can't receive um, messages on whatsapp it messages messages might come but it's going to delay so with this option when i plug my my device on a charger all the apps will stay in the background because the screen is not turned off okay back to the next one is usb debugging most of you know what this one does if you want to um, do something or communicate with the pc without having to root your device this usb debugging is very important the next one is um, cellular data always active it says always keep mobile data active even when wi-fi is active for fast network switching if you are gaming if you're on call of duty or PUBG and you have you have your wi-fi turned on connected and you turn on your mobile data it's not going to disable your mobile data because your wi-fi is turned on it will actually keep both of them so that if the wi-fi disconnect is going to automatic automatically switch to your mobile data that, that's what this thing does you are not going to be kicked out of the game if you are playing online so it's very important for gamers mostly the one under it is um tethering hardware acceleration i use this i use this option for i actually use my phone to play online e-football online so these settings helps me boost the ping um, to achieve lower ping on my pc when playing online so it actually it will use the hardware acceleration of the android device to give you the best results possible okay to the next um sorry for the interruption um, to the next settings next settings is um, under the hardware acceleration rendering so this option is what I always turn on but when you turn this option on anytime you reboot your device anytime you reboot your device it's going to turn off so make sure you if you reboot your device come back here and turn it on so it's disable hardware overlays always use gpu as screen co composition what this does is um it actually puts more stress on the gpu rather rather than putting more stress on the cpu if i am scrolling if i'm scrolling now normally the 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 device is using the cpu to operate other things but if you if you enable this option like facebook whatsapp if you are watching videos most of the most of the task will be on the gpu if you're a gamer you also you will know that um, gpu is more optimized for graphics rendering than cpu then the two last option is force activities to be resizable apps like apps like messenger can't be resizable um, also apps like twitter i guess can't be resizable with this option you can actually resize them if you if you if you are someone who use split screen if you are someone who use split screen 
Um, yes, apps like Messenger can't be resizable. So with this, with these settings, you can actually resize um, Messenger. Now to the last one is force allow apps on external make any app eligible to be written to external storage regardless of the manifest values what this actually does is if you some apps can't some apps, some apps can't install on your sd card if you don't have sd card on your on your on your device if you don't have expandable storage on your device this settings is useless but if you have if you turn on this if you turn these settings on it's going to allow you to move up to external storage if you in case you don't have enough um, internal storage so that's what this thing does most apps won't let you install them on sd card that's something that has been disabled the, that's something the feature that has been removed since android android 6.0 i guess so these settings can allow you to actually install android apps on your external storage so these are the these are the few developer developer option i always use every day that helps me so if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more peace